Hello YouTube! This is I, Banded Wendy, Sunday the 21st of March 2010. And um, I'm one day away, uh, two days away technically, from my bandiversary, one year post-op. And, um, ugh, just saying that brings a tear to my eye. Crazy. That's not what I'm here to talk about. Um, so I go to Starbucks every day, right? Bam. Here next to my house. And they've come to know who I am and, and, and to uh, uh, appreciate me and, and friend me and, and make my drink and give me great service. Love my Starbucks. But I've been going to that Starbucks for over a year, every day, sometimes multiple times a day. So, um, this has changed over that year, and uh, I don't know how, I, I can't piece it all together, but there's a gal who works there, uh, who, I don't know what her BMI is, um, and she's not, you know, 500 pounds, um, but she's not at uh, a healthy weight either. And somehow, someway, several months ago, we started chatting through the drive through uh, and of course I said, I had lap band surgery. And she's totally against surgery when I spoke to her about it. She's a college student, she's young, she had just gotten a bike, she thinks she can, you know, she wants to lose the weight on her own. Um, so I was like, okay, cool, you know. Good luck with that, hang in there, do it all up, I support you. So anyway, months later have passed and I've been traveling and uh, I'm back, you know, back from the travel. And uh, this girl mentioned it to me again. She said, you know, she's going to start seeing a dietitian, nutritionist, and she's going to go for six months um, of really trying to lose the weight. And then if she can't focus and lose the weight, she would consider weight loss surgery. And uh, I gave her the Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works channel, and I also gave her the Banded Wendy channel. And uh, I saw her this morning, and she actually started watching them last night. Um, and she asked me for some ideas and, and support today about eating and her schedule. And, you know, she doesn't have access to a refrigerator some days. And uh, it's really, really hard. You know, and, and for me, my, my thought was, I told her, you know, when you have weight loss, and she's really worried about the scars, right? Well, we all know that if we've made the decision to have weight loss surgery, really, the least of your concerns are the scars, right? So I, I flat out told her that because I really believe, like, scar... I, I pulled up my shirt through the drive-thru and was like, here's my scar. Like, nothing, you know? Like, it's much he better to be thin and, and healthy and confident in your skin and look in the mirror and like what you see than it is to worry about a freaking scar, right? Am I wrong? So anyway, she asked me, you know, if I could email her some recipes. I said, oh, I've got plenty on my YouTube channel. And, and, and you know, she was already throwing up some barriers and, and the best advice, I, I, things I said to her were, you know, when you have weight loss surgery, there's a switch. You know, there's just a switch that turns on because you're doing your last ditch effort here. You're making the decision that I have to do something and I'm going to alter my body surgically to lose weight. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, I gave her some suggestions with the food because she doesn't always have access to a microwave or to a refrigerator. And, you know, it's like, okay, well, you have a cooler, a little cooler you can carry to keep stuff cold? Yeah, okay, well, my, my thing was, you have to, there are going to be barriers to you doing the things you need to do. Uh, but only you can create the solutions to get over those barriers so you can do what you need to do. If you're just going to throw up barrier after barrier after barrier and not work on getting over the barrier, then you're screwed, guys. You're going to be stuck in the same spot. So anyway, I felt for her, and I came home, and I'm a Virgo, and I love helping people, and uh, I came home, and I went through my cabinet, and I, I put every, anything and everything I could that I thought would help her, from oatmeal to uh, protein waters to diet, you know, crystal light packets, uh, to some cans of tuna, to one of my one-cup containers, and then I made copies of all these re recipes that I've had for this year. And I made her the lap band rules and this freaking paper that's on the thing because I copied it. You know, my weight loss surgery rules that sit here in my office. 
And I wrote on it, this is a lifetime. This is every day. This is not easy. If you follow these rules every day, you will lose weight. But you have to follow the rules. If you can't follow the rules, you're not going to lose weight. So anyway, I put all the recipes together and I put the lap band rules and I even had my doctor's um, list of, you know, the four stages of eating. And I circled uh, the last one. You know, here it is. A year later, I have this at my fingertips, right? Four stages. That's a lifetime. That, that's where you stay. It does not change. So anyway, I put the bag together. I put everything in it. I went to Starbucks. In, I usually go through the drive-thru. I'm in my sleeping clothes. I went inside. This is all within like 15 minutes. I went inside. Uh, and she sees me walk in. I'm like, pull up this bag. And she comes over. She's like, oh my god, you're so nice. I'm like, this kit will get you started. There are rules in there. If you cannot follow those rules, you won't lose weight. And uh, I know I touched her. Um, I've touched myself, look at me. Um, and I felt like I had to make the video because she's watching my videos and I hope if you watch my video, you know that I want, I, you know, there's this thing. People say they might get cocky when they lose weight. I don't want, I'm not cocky. I want to help people. I have to stop myself from going up to someone who's overweight or obese and saying, you know that you can get help. There's a way to get out of this fat body. So I hope that I've helped her. I hope that I've helped anybody who's watching this video. And I'm not crying because I'm, I'm sad, you know? I'm not. I'm crying because I fucking do it every day. You gotta be strong, really strong. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. You can turn it off, you don't have to watch, but I hope my friend from Starbucks um, really, really focuses on herself uh, and does what she needs to do to lose the weight and can do it without having weight loss surgery. Um, but I couldn't, and I'm glad I have my weight loss surgery. Happy Sunday.